All right. Hey, uh, we're gonna do a move called the uppercut and it, it's a violent move. I want you to use a little bit of juice for this one. Uh, it's a lot of the same parts we've used before. We're just gonna modify one thing. All right, so I want you to think of this as a clean. But now that the bag has started to move vertically, we're gonna add our swing or our clean with our swing and we're going to add what's called a lateral step back. I'm going to lean into my lead knee and move my leg out of the way. So notice I'm moving forward and the bag is opposing that energy and making me very balanced. From here, I'm going to stand up into my clean. My leg gets out of the way. I lean forward, bag goes back and up. Right leg. Shot. Right leg. All right, I'm gonna alternate left side to right side. Left leg goes back, right shoulder goes forward, and I attack. After that, shoulder goes forward, bag goes back, up. Make some waves with your arms. All right, guys, if you go back and the bag goes back, you break form. If you go back and the bag goes back, you break form. You need to attack with your shoulder. Lengthen your leg. Attack with your shoulder. All right, Serena, let's go. That stuff's easy. Flip the bag around so the logo's facing you, and then we're gonna do a very good job here. Yep, great job. All right, which leg are you gonna do first? Uh, right leg. Okay, so from here, we take our right leg, we exit out, we lean towards, and up, very good. Left leg drops back, right shoulder drops in, and up, boom. Guys, Serena is spreading out far. So remember we talked about the hidden pull? Well, let's talk about the hidden momentum. Since the leg is so far back, not only do you have the momentum of the bag, but your body wants to get into things. Let's do four with some aggression. Four, up, that's the one, three, up, two, yeah, last one, wow, and time, go and set that thing, just drop it, I can't do any more of those, get your foot, okay, all right guys, so hey, we call that the uppercut because I want you to attack, and if you think about my right arm, I am ending where, in my uppercut position, so adding a little attitude to it, calling the punch, is really going to help out. Okay, guys, we're going to upgrade that same movement into what we call the matador. So I think of the bullfighter. He waves his cape, the bull comes through, and he puts the cape behind him. So here's the flow, guys. Okay. Same exact movement. I'm going to step back. But rather than come back up into the clean, I'm going to let the bag go to my back. How cool. And I'm going to do this move from the back. Now we've set up a couple things to make us successful. One, we've done our pullover from our swing. So we're familiar with what that feels like. Now, as we add to the matador, we slide back and hook around. 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 Now guys, we've kind of done this before. We did our spin, our compression spin. What's the difference between your compression spin and this guy? It's virtually the same move. I just get, I just, I, I just wanted to do some reps. All right, guys. So the uppercut and the matador. Serena, you want to give this one a try? Okay. You want me to coach you through it? All right. Taking our right leg back. Right arm went back. That means left arm comes over. 
Beautiful, so it's the same as the shoulder rack switch. We come over the opposite side. Left hand pulls, right hand comes over. Very good, and Serena, let's just get a couple reps. Nice, calm, smooth, bang, bang. Step back, charge forward, very good. We're doing a spin with a lateral step back. Getting the leg out of the way for the bag, putting the leg back up for stability, and using that forward step as the pull, the matador. One more. Time. Okay, yeah, that one. That was the last one. All right. Guys, super cool. All right. We got one last move to cover. Chapter five. Learn this one from Maurizio. What a cool guy. Maurizio, the inventor of the hydro core. Uh, I went and trained with him uh, in San Diego and he taught us this move called the warrior swing. And uh, we're gonna do this one from an over, over grip. Okay. We, well, I think in uh, other forms of fitness, they call this the arm throw. I'm gonna be doing the same clean I've been doing, but instead of going around my neck, I'm going to go around my shoulder. Now my hands are extremely, extremely open. If I start to make fists, this gets tight on my shoulders and elbows. From this position, this arm throw position, I'm going to fully lengthen my arms and clean to the other side. Static. Guys, I open up my hands as the bag goes back. All right, so that is part one. Part two is I'm gonna get off of the center line. I'm gonna let my arms drop all the way down, and now I'm gonna shoot one foot out and one foot in. Arms hang, clean, foot out. Now being very static is a great way to train this, but having centrifugal force really makes this move work. Now, I think it's a saying in golf, don't worry necessarily about your swing, but your follow through. Well, I think they say that in basketball too. And I think they say that in throwing a football. Well, I think they, that's with everything. So focus on your follow through. I'm gonna fully lengthen my arms and hit a very nice, beautiful pose pressing my toes and making a straight line, pushing my elbow as far as I can forward, but letting the, back drag, the bag drag me back. As I stand back up, I'm pulling on the bag just by switching from position A to position B. As that happens, I use all of that velocity that I'm gaining by moving the bag, and I swing and follow through. Swing and follow through. Swing. Swing, swing, and you notice I'm almost doing a jump. And if you wanted to, you could. All right, warrior swing. Made me feel cool when I did it. You want to try it? Okay, here we go. So Serena, we'll start static. Let's just face the camera. And we'll go over and over on the grip. All right, how do we free tension in our wrist? We just loose on the, loose on the fingers, yeah. Yeah, now from here, look, you might wanna keep your thumb close. From here, let's do a clean over the back. Cool, go again, pull the bag under, okay. Now I want you to clean over your shoulder. Yeah, almost, but you're over your back, check this out. Now you're over your shoulder. Both hands are over your shoulder. Bring your bag down. Very good. There it is. Hey, Serena, let me ask you this. If you were a superhero and you had a cape, how would you put it on? Yeah. You know, I'm too fast. Okay, but we need the elbow down in front of the arm like you're dabbing. Elbow down, <laughs> elbow down, elbow down. There. Got to see the face. Got the dab. This is beautiful. Pull to front and over the shoulder. 
Now guys, you can see the mechanical glitches. This is what happens when something is very fluid and something is very stiff. So if we start to let Serena pivot from left to right, the motions will start to match each other. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yep. <sighs> yep. 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 Very good. Three, two, and one. Nice. I'm glad we got those last three reps in there, Serena. That was when we really started figuring the warrior swing out. What a great move. You into it? Feel like a warrior? Guys, you got some work to do. Hey, there's one last thing we're going to cover with our handles. And this is the overhead snatch. So we've done cleans, which go to the shoulder, but the snatch is whenever we go over the head. Now we can do this a couple different ways. We can go under grip. I'll just start out with a nice clean. And then the snatch is the part where we lift the bag over the head. And, and this definitely is an option, especially if my thumbs are hooked in. Uh, so for me, it's just not my favorite way to do a clean. My thumbs do a lot of work and they catch a lot of friction going in and out of this tiny space here. All right, now I'm gonna flip my hands over to my over over grip. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact patterns that I've been doing and I'm gonna go into my clean. Hinge, shoot the hips forward, end in my clean. Now you notice how my fingertips are going up? I'm gonna continue that all the way up into my press. So you can see my fingers, my pinkies, are running straight in line with my elbows. Okay, so that to me is a clean with the press. We've got to get out the middle part. So instead of landing on my shoulders, once I've got my bag inverted, just like I'm diving in a pool, I'm going to shoot my fingers directly up into the air. So the water is toppling over me and my hands are shooting straight up. I'm redirecting energy so that way the bag doesn't pull me over. However, if I let my hands tip back, well, I'm not meeting force with force and, and then I'm gonna get pulled back. All right. Now, when we do this one, I'm gonna just do this one from a squat like we did our power clean. All right, so I'm gonna find the ground. I'm gonna lift straight up. Notice how my elbows are flaring a little bit. As I start to get my elbows a little high, my back's gonna to start to invert, and I press my fingertips all the way into the sky. All right. Serena, what can I do to add a little energy? Use the legs. Use the legs. So I'm going to jump into position like we did our power clean. I'm going to jump and plant. Jump and plant. Now, Serena, how many times have you had students do presses with their fingers up? Not a lot. All right, so we usually grip. But whenever we teach people to press, we teach them to press with a neutral wrist. If I can complete the diving form into the snatch, all I need to do is close my fingers over and you don't have to worry about the knuckles dropping back. So we'll do our clean, fingers up, and you are welcome to close. We just don't want the wrist folding back. One, two, little jump, hips come up and up. Close the fingers. If you want, Serena, this one's all you. The overhead snatch, nice switch on the hands. Going into a high pull, very good. Press fingers straight up. Okay, see this? Palms rolling back, we don't want that. Touch, my, touch your palms on mine, that's what we want. That's it. All right, bring it down. Roll it over, very good. Up, shoot the finger straight up, 
Uh, again, yeah, again, the fingers drop back. Really got to push those palms forward. That's the one. All the way down. All the way up. Now this is harder and harder to do. So what can we do to make this easier? We can add a little bit of legs. Let's go back down. All right, Serena, you can get under this one like your double action. So we clean, pop. Yeah, that'll work. Very good. And then now let's start to make fists at the top. Hey, 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 that's good. That's good. Let's get two more. Open the hands, close the hands. Yep. Very good. Hey, this will be our last one. Overhead snatch. And time. Serena, that was awesome. Guys, we've spent so much time on the handles. We haven't even got the ropes in yet, but that's going to be part of our next section. Hey, you've got so much here. You can make a complete workout out of chapter five. Not only that, you could make a flow. Just as a quick example of the possibilities you could do with the bag, I'm just gonna move the bag around for a little bit and coach you guys through it. All right, so we have, well, maybe our swing. And we start to get our hands in and out of transition, fingers over. Fingers under, hey, I can go to my clean. I can go fingers over, hey, I can go to my snatch. Hey, let's go fingers under again. Hey, let's go to that hero spin. Let's go to the mill. The moves just pour from one to the other. Man, I'm excited. Our last chapter's coming up. We got chapter six. We're gonna bring the full hydro core to you guys. Catch up on your homework, and we'll see you in the next chapter.